Hi friends, have a look at this unique Windows desktop customization. You can actually get this done as well, and all in a matter of minutes. Welcome to this channel, let's jump straight to it. Now first thing I'm going to do right now is to hide these desktop icons. Just right click on your desktop, go to view, then click on show desktop icons. Now we're going to tidy up this taskbar, we're going to make it look more pretty. Just right click on your taskbar here and go to taskbar settings. Now I'm going to go ahead to the search box and click on hide. Um, we're going to toggle off any features we're not using, okay? Just toggle it off. For this, I'm going to change it to never, alright? So as you can see right now, we have this tidy looking tax bar and it's more compact, okay? Now after doing that, just going to X on this, close it. Now I'm going to add on to our browser. Now I've prepared links for you. All the links I'll be using in this video will be given to you in the description, okay? Now we're going to go ahead and download Raymeter first. Just go ahead and click on this download icon. Once Raymeter is downloaded, we're going to go to the next one here. We're going to download this theme file, okay? It's a zip file. Just go ahead and click on this green icon. Now, once the download is completed, we're going to head on to our file location. In this case, we're going to the downloads and now you're going to go ahead and install Raymeter, okay? Just double click to install it. Okay, click on next, install, then select finish. Now, when we head on to our desktop, we have all these widgets and we're just going to right click on every one of them and unload skin, okay? Right click, unload skin, right click, unload skin, all right? Now we're gonna head on back to our download folder. This is the theme file which we just downloaded, all right? It's a zip file, so just gonna extract it first. I'm gonna right click on it and select extract all. Click on extract. Go ahead and open this folder. Now go ahead to the wallpaper, just right click on it and set as desktop background. If we go to the desktop right here, as you can see now we have this new wallpaper. So we're going to proceed to the rest of the settings, okay? Now we're going to go back to download. Now we're going to install this Remedy skin. Just double click on Sonder, double click on that, then click on install. Now the first thing I'm going to do is to change this color, okay? Going to change this and the settings right here. So you have options here. You can either use the color codes or you can select any of these colors that has been given here, okay? To make this easy, guys, we already have this uh, blue one here. Just click on that. As you can see, it changes from green to blue. I believe this goes well with this wallpaper. And for now, we're just going to close these settings. Just X on the settings. Now we're going to go ahead and remove any skin that we don't need, okay? We're going to make some changes right here. Like this first one, world map is not needed. Just right click on it. Select unload skin, all right? Unload skin on the world map. Now we're going to remove this one right here and unload skin. I don't need this one. Remove that as well. We're going to come to the arrangement later, okay? But let me just push this away to the side. Now for us to remove this recycle bin, we have to head on to Raymeter, okay? Just expand this and I'm going to go to Raymeter. Go ahead and expand this sonder, go to recycle bin and highlight on this bin then unload, right? As you can see, the recycle bin is not there anymore. And the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to change this date. I want to change to the design. So we're going to go to date. Just expand this. I'm going to choose the number three here, okay? I light on this and select load. Now, as you can see, we have a brand new date, okay? So let me just close this. To make this more pretty, I'm just going to add on visualizer. Just going to expand this. Going to select this dot visualizer.ini, then click on load. Now, we're just going to go right here to on over. Just expand this. I'm going to change this to hide. Uh, why we're going to do this is because whenever you're working on your computer, the visualizer is not going to interrupt your work or whatnot. We'll go ahead to arrange all this widget. So I'm going to minimize this. This is obviously too big. To reduce it, I'm just going to scroll down on my mouse right now. All right. I think this is good enough. So guys, just observe the way I arrange this. Okay. And you can use your own ideas actually.
okay this is looking pretty cool already so now we're going to go to the next ray meter skin okay now we're going to go back to our download and we're going to install this windows slide let's double click on this one select install now after installing you'll notice there's nothing happening actually so now you're going to head on back to ray meter go back to ray meter I'm just going to expand this, just leave it open the way it is. And I'm going to go back to this download folder. I'm going to open this text file right here. All right. Very easy guys. These are the coordinates we're going to use to manually impute the slide dock on this left side of our screen. Okay. Now you're going to start accordingly. Start from the first one right here. It says my computer. All right. So we're going to look for my computer. Just expand it right here. Highlight on it. Select load. Now you're going to impute this same number into this coordinate. So just type 180. Now after typing that, you can already see the explorer on the left side of our screen right here. And I'm going to go to the next one which is document. Now I'm going to do the same thing right here. Just expand document, click on it, select load. And now I'm going to impute 240. Next one is download. Look for download. Highlight it. Click on load. Now I'm going to impute 300. 300. All right, now we're done adding all this widget to the left side of our screen here. As you can see, we have this slide dock and it's looking pretty cool, okay? Let me minimize this first. We're not done yet, obviously. We still have one more step to go. I think this taskbar doesn't go well with our design and our setup right here. Now we're gonna go ahead to Microsoft Store. Type translucent TB. Translucent TB, all right. Right here, just click on this app and select install. Click on open. I'm going to X on this. Select continue. All right, this is looking much better. As you can see, we have this transparent taskbar and it's just beautiful. But there's one more thing we have to do right here. Now on this right side, we can see this widget here not really visible and doesn't really go well with other things we have here so we're just going to right click on our desktop we're going to go to personalize now go ahead to colors and under choose your mode just going to expand light here go to custom then under choose your default windows mode just expand it and select dark and when you x on this now as you can see we have this visible widget on the right side here and it's all looking good and when you play your music you're going to see this beautiful movement on your screen right here and you have your date you have your computer information right here and you have this volume uh, you can actually increase the volume here and you have bluetooth here and, and on the left side you have all this widget and this setup makes your computer desktop look more tidy and clean so that will be all for now guys remember to subscribe to this channel also leave this video a like and i'll be waiting for your comments at the comment section have a great day peace out